Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Gridley News. Thank you for joining me. Why in the world would MIT make a fake video supposedly showing President Nixon making a speech about the failed Apollo mission? There's a document that's posted online. Um, it's an archives from the government about a speech that President Nixon would give in the event of a disaster and it's dated July 18th, 1969. Fate has ordained that the men who went to the moon to explore in peace will stay on the moon to rest in peace. These brave men, Neil Armstrong and Edwin Aldrin, know that there is no hope for the recovery, but they also know that there is hope for mankind in their sacrifice. These two men are laying down their lives in mankind's most noble goal, the search for truth and understanding. But we don't have that these days. They will be mourned, and by their families and friends, they will be mourned by their nation. They will be mourned by the people of the world. They will be mourned by Mother Earth that dared send two of her sons into the unknown. In their exploration, they stirred the people of the world to feel as one in their sacrifice. They bind more tightly the brotherhood of man. In the ancient days, men looked to the stars and saw their heroes in the constellations. In modern times, we do much the same. But our heroes are epic men of flesh and blood. Others will follow and surely find their way home. Man's search will not be denied. But these men were the first and they will remain the foremost in our hearts. For every human being who looks at the moon in the nights to come will know that there is some corner of another world that is forever mankind. And then the paper says prior to the president's statement, the president should telephone each of the widows to be. After the president's statement, at the point when NASA ends communication with the men, a clergyman should adopt the same procedure as a burial at sea, commending their souls to the deepest of the deep, concluding with the Lord's Prayer. One Twitter post says that lawmakers are already concerned that deep fake videos could threaten national security and interfere in elections. Now, MIT explores whether they have the potential to rewrite history. So, how much did it cost to make this video of President Nixon making the speech? There's already enough controversy about whether we went to the moon or not. You know, President Nixon never actually gave this Apollo 11 disaster speech, but yeah, it sure raises a lot of questions. Why do it? Are they just showing the potential to fake stuff? Uh, yeah, like I said, all they have to do is shut down the internet, control the internet, which Google is already doing. You don't know if a real war broke out or not. You wouldn't know if there was truly a mass shooting somewhere. You get so much fake news out there. If there was truly a disaster that people should prepare for, they probably wouldn't do it thinking it was fake. When people should be heading to the bunkers, they'll still be out there mowing their lawns. Did they do this as a warning for what's to come or what has already been posted on mainstream BS ma media like CNN, MSNBC, etc.? So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Please subscribe. Thank you for your support. Seeing how I have been demonetized by YouTube, I'm on Patreon, BitChute, and also PayPal. And please stay safe. I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.